Hello everybody, it's Joanne Musa, the Tax Lean Lady, and today we are talking about what you need to know to successfully invest in tax liens. So if you're new to my webinars, I'm Joanne Musa, the Tax Lean Lady, I'm known online as the Tax Lean Lady, and I'm also a best-selling author. That's my book on that you see on your screen, Tax Lean Investing Secrets, how you can get 8% to 36% return on your money without the typical risk of real estate investing or the uncertainty of the stock market. I've been a tax lien investor since 2002 and I'm a speaker and trainer. I talk about tax lien investing, of course, and how you can do it. I'm the creator of TaxLeanLady.com if you haven't seen my website, and for 10 years, uh, actually for over 10 years, I've been training people just like you on how to invest in tax liens and tax deeds. And I'm known online, I'm also known as America's most trusted authority on tax lien investing, and I didn't make that up, that's what people keep telling me. So I guess I believe it. Anyway, <laughs> um, recently, that's enough about me, let's talk about you. Okay, and what you want to know, what you need to know about tax lien investing so that you could be a successful investor. Well, recently I did a survey to find this out. I asked these three questions. What is the biggest problem you have when it comes to tax lien investing? What do you most want to learn about tax lien investing? And what states do you want to learn to invest in? Well, here are the results. Okay, in answer to the first question, what is the biggest problem you have when it comes to tax lien investing, the two answers I got the most were bidding without going to the auction, okay, and getting property information online. Those are the two, quest the, the two answers that I got the most to that question about what is the biggest problem that you have. All right, now also, some of you also said that you don't know where to start you have little money to begin with, and you don't know how to bid. Okay, that, those were the uh, answers to question number one. Now, question number two, what do you most want to learn about tax lien investing? The two most popular answers there were where to start, you know, recurring theme here, how to get started, how to ev and how to evaluate tax sale properties. And some of you also said you wanted to know how to create a business for tax lien investing, how to f and how to find the tax sale information, and how to invest online. All right, what about the states that you want to invest in? Well, the most popular ones were Florida, Texas, and Arizona in that order. Okay, but some of you were also interested in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Hawaii, and Michigan. And I'm going to talk about these states in just a minute. I'm going to, we're going to talk about those states and, and um, answer some of those questions that you have uh, right tonight on, you know, which of these states are, are better to invest in tax liens or tax deeds. Some of those states were deed states, and we'll talk about that as well. Now, also tonight, I am going to let you know about my next live training because I'm going to answer a lot of these questions for you. It's going to address all those things that you need help the most with, like which states are the best to invest in, where to begin, whether you have little money to start with or plenty of money but little time, how to find all the tax sale information you need and determine the best place for you to invest. And this is going to be an interactive training, so we're you know going to do this together. It's going to be tailored to who is in the training, so there will be some group coaching here to find out which is the best place for you. How to research tax sale properties and choose the right properties to bid on in the place that you're investing, okay? how to bid at the tax sale, whether in person or online, and how to manage your tax liens and deeds for maximum profit. All right? But starting tonight, we're going to learn right now uh, which are the best states to invest in, no matter how much money you have to invest. And we're going to start out with the states that, you, that, that people wanted to know about in that survey. We're going to start out with that tonight. So, um, 
which are the best states to invest it for starting with little money, investing without going to the auction. Now, this is something we're going to take a deep dive into the training as well. All right, but we're going to talk about this a little bit tonight. Doing due diligence online. This this we're going to do in the training. That's something I might uh, touch on which states are good for that tonight, but um, that's something we're going to really do in the training. If you have plenty of money to invest but no time, liens and how to do a tax lien and deed investing online, which states are good? I'm going to touch on that tonight, um, which states are good for that. All right, so what about these states? All right, these are the states that you told me you were most interested in. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of each one. Which is the best to start if you have little cash? Which ones can you do online? What if you do have plenty of money but you don't have the time to invest yourself, okay? Uh, remember, the most popular states were Florida, Texas, and Arizona. Florida is, has online liens and deeds, Texas has redeemable deeds, and Arizona has uh, is a tax lien state, and they have online and live tax sales. Well, just between these three states, I'm going to talk about that for a minute, because the Florida tax sales are coming up, the Florida tax lien sales. Now, Florida has online deeds and online liens, and in Florida, the concern is that liens are typically, good liens are typically bid down to 0.25%. So some people think that it might be better to invest in a state like Arizona, where it's not bid down quite so far, all right? But actually, the better state to invest in online is Florida, all right, for a couple of reasons. First of all, if you're investing from a distance, in Florida, you don't actually foreclose on the lien. So you don't usually have to worry about taking property, okay, unless you don't do your due diligence right and you wind up with property that nobody wants and nobody's going to bid on at, when it goes into a deed sale. Because what happens in Florida is instead of foreclosing on the property, you apply for the property to go into a deed sale. But here's the thing. When you apply for that property to go into a deed sale, you pay all of the subsequent taxes and redeem any outstanding liens. And when you do that, that money is going to accrue at 18% until it redeems or until it's sold at the deed sale. So even though you only bid 0.25%, it doesn't mean that you're only going to make 0.25% on your money. In fact, even if it doesn't go to the deed sale, you're going to get the a penalty which is 5%. Okay? So Florida is definitely a good state to do online and it's something that uh, that we'll be focusing on in the live training that we're doing. Now, Texas is a redeemable deed state and it's a excellent redeemable deed state, but if you have little money to invest, Texas is not a good place to start because you're actually buying the property and you're actually considered the owner of the property when you buy that redeemable deed. And that gets bid up at the auction. It's not like Florida and Arizona where things get bid down. So if you don't have a lot of money to invest, you don't want to start in Texas unless you have a funding partner that's going to give you money to invest and split the profits with you. Okay? You're better off starting in Florida. I also don't recommend Arizona, even though you can find in Arizona liens that for very small consideration. You can invest in Arizona and buy, you know, $80 or $100 liens. The problem is that, let's say you go to one of the, and they do have online tax sales in Arizona. So let's say you go to an online tax sale in Arizona and you buy an $80 lien. Well, even though it's an $80 lien, you're only going to get interest on $70 because the county charges $10 and it's built into the price of the lien and you're not going to get interest on that. Then you're going to pay $90 for the $80 lien that you're only going to make profit on $70 of because the online auctioneer is also going to charge you $10 and that's not built into the price of the lien. 
okay? Arizona, they kind of nickel and dime you for everything, and then eat, to get that lien, you're going to have to bid down to uh, if it has a house on it. Well, first of all, if it has a house on it, it's probably going to be more than $80. An $80 lien is usually just on land. And you might be able to get it for 7%, but 7% on $70 or $80, if that redeems right away, you're actually going to lose money. All right, so Arizona is not a good place to start if you have a little bit of money. Now, if you have a lot of money, Arizona is a good place to start. You buy the bigger liens, and then you're going to make money. But with the smaller liens, you're not going to make money in Arizona. The best place to start out of these three states, if you have little money to start with, is Florida. All right, and even then, you have to look around at the counties. The counties in Florida that have online tax sales, um, they have different deposit amounts okay so in some of those counties you still might need to have five thousand dollars to to invest uh, one that I just looked at was Lee County they had a three thousand uh, three hundred dollar deposit which they took to be five percent of your budget which means you needed a budget of six thousand dollars to invest in Lee County all right now that's Lee County but you have to look around some of the counties don't require uh, deposits or don't require big budgets. All right. Okay. What about the other states? What about these states? Okay. Minnesota, it's tax deed state. A lot of these are tax deed states. There's one lien state in this group, but um, a lot of them are deed states. Minnesota, Wisconsin is another deed state. Iowa is a tax lien state with a very high interest rate. Okay. Uh, the highest next to Illinois. Iowa is 24% a year, but there's a catch, and we're going to go over that, okay? Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see here. Hawaii is a redeemable deed state. Um, Michigan is another tax deed state. So what about these? Three of these deed states have online tax sales, but only one of these states is a good state to invest in for deeds. So let's find out which one and why. Let me see. I'm going to ask you guys to guess <laughs> before I tell you the answer here. So, um, and I know I'm getting a lot of questions here. And again, I usually do a Q&A, but today we're actually doing a webinar. So I will get to some questions, but I'm not going to get to all of them. Okay. <laughs> Alex guessed Iowa. We're talking now about the deed states that have online sales. Three of these deed states, I'll tell you which ones have online sales. Wisconsin, Michigan, and uh, Minnesota is not online. Actually, Iowa has online. I was not a deed state, but that has online sales. So out of those three states that have online sales, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan. All right, Alex thinks that Iowa is the better state? I don't think so, in my opinion. Uh, but if you're interested in liens, then it might be. But there is a catch that I'm going to tell you about. Ah, Abiola, you are smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Stuart, you got it. Okay. Um, Michigan is the state that I would say is the, is probably the best one for the online deed sales and out of this group is the one that I would recommend to invest in. Again, if you have little money, you can't invest there because you're actually buying the property and the property is bid up at the tax sale. But here's why. Let me just go through this with you quickly. Minnesota is a, the a tax deed sale is not online and the bidding starts at the assessed value of the property. All right, so not such a great deal. Wisconsin, and if you think that's bad, Wisconsin has recently now some Wisconsin counties have gone online, but bidding starts at the market price of the property, and there's not much available in most counties. Some counties have only one or two properties in the tax sale. All right, so that's not a state that I would recommend. So what about um, Iowa. Well, Iowa is a tax lien state, one of the most profitable, with an interest rate of 24% a year, and it's not bid down. And they do have online tax sales, but there is a catch. The catch is this. In Iowa, 
when you bid at the tax sale, the interest rate's not bid down, the price of the lien is not bid up, all right? So if you have little money to start, you might want to start in Iowa, but here's the catch. What's bid down is the percent ownership interest of the property. And when these sales go online, the properties wind up going at 1%. All right, that means that you're only going to own 1% of the property should you foreclose. Now, if you don't have to foreclose, that's not a problem, okay? But if you do have to foreclose on a property, then you can't do anything with it. Even if you own 99% of the property, you can't sell it without having the other owner sign off. And there's not enough leverage to get the owner to pay you, okay? Why should they redeem the lien if they still own part of the property? All right, so now if you know what you're doing in Iowa and you, maybe you don't have a lot of money to start, all those other states are deed states, then Iowa would be your only choice out of this group. But you just have to be careful of what you're bidding on. You want to make sure you bid on properties that have mortgages on them and pro the, uh, nice properties that you know are going to redeem. All right, so that would be the trick with bidding in Iowa. But it still might be, you know, Alex, if you're interested in liens, it still might be the best um, of these states for you to invest in. Now, Hawaii is a redeemable deed state, but it's not one of the most popular redeemable deed states because it has a 12% annualized interest rate instead of a penalty. Uh, remember we talked about Texas before. Texas is a redeemable deed state and a very popular one. Texas and Georgia are probably the two most popular redeemable deed states because they have uh, penalties, not interest rates, and they're pretty high uh, next to Hawaii. I mean, the penalty in Texas is 25%. The penalty in Georgia is 20%. All right, that sounds pretty good next to a 12% annualized interest rate in Hawaii. Um, and there are only four counties in Hawaii and not much available at the tax sale. All right, now if you live in Hawaii, then you might just want to check it out. All right, then it'd be worth it. But if you don't live in Hawaii, don't go there for tax sales. All right. Now, Michigan, on the other hand, has online tax deed sales, and most of the counties do have online sales. Bidding starts at back taxes and penalties, so, and they make it very easy for you to do your due diligence and bid on tax sale properties. So out of that group of states, Michigan is uh, the one that, that I would consider is the best, unless you don't have a lot of money to invest, in which case you would want to start in Iowa, okay? But just be careful. All right, so now that I've done that, I want to let you know I've got two, because I can't go through all the states, it would take me all night. I do have two free resources for you that I'm going to give you at the end of tonight's webinar. All right, so if I forget, you guys remind me, okay? Just type it in the question box. But in the meantime, I want to let you know about an exclusive live training that I'm going to be starting later this month. Uh, I'm going to be starting it in a couple of weeks. It's my new tax lien investing secrets training. I've named it after my book. All right, now what I did is I condensed my Build Your Profitable Tax Lien Portfolio into a five-week training. So where are you now? Okay, so you're at your computer watching this. You know tax lien investing can be very profitable. You want to, uh, you, you want to have it start working for you, okay? I don't know what I was thinking of when I was doing this slide. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I was going to say something and then I said something else. If you are ready to get started and you're wondering what's the fastest way that you could get started now, here's how you can master it in the next few weeks, okay, with my tax lien investing secrets training. I've condensed my eight-week Build Your Profitable Tax Lien Portfolio training into five weeks of live online training. I've condensed and rearranged the training modules to answer your mo most burning concerns and do it in a shorter time frame so that you can profit faster, so that you can start investing sooner. Now, as mentioned in the beginning of this webinar, here's what you're going to learn in this training. Okay, which states are the best to invest in and where to begin, whether you have little money to start with or plenty of money and little time. 
how to find all the tax sale information you need and determine the best place for you to, to invest, how to research the tax sale properties and choose the right properties to bid on, how to bid at the tax sale, whether in person or online, how to manage your tax lien and tax deeds for maximum profit. Okay, now it, it, this is what we're going to cover in module one. In week one, you're going to learn which states sell liens, which states sell deeds, so that you can find the best state for you to invest. Now, I'm actually going to, one of the free things I'm going to give you is actually something that's going to uh, tell you which sell liens and which sell deeds. But this is going to go into a little more in depth because there's going to be, it's interactive and there will be some uh, group coaching. So we'll be able to help you find the best state for you to invest. And we're going to find the results of past tax sales so that you know how much money you need to invest. That's one of the first things I do with my coaching clients. And then we're going to find out when the tax sales are held. And I'm going to give you the tools to find out when the tax sales are held all over the country so that you know um, how often you need to invest to meet your goals and how to find those tax sales where they are. Now in module number two, in week to, you're going to learn when these tax sales are coming up because you're going to have use of that tool to find that out and when they're coming up in the states that you're going to invest in so that you know how much time you need to get ready for the sales you're, and so that you'll be ready on time. You're going to find the places that have online tax sales if you don't want to go to the sales so that you don't have to physically attend the tax sale to invest. Okay, and you're going to get all the tax sale information online or by phone or by email and register for the online sales if you want to do the online tax sales. I'll show you how to do that. In module three, in week three, you're going to learn how to research the tax sale property so that you only bid on profitable liens or deeds. Okay, I don't want you to make any mistakes. And how to avoid the common mistakes that newbies tend to make. Um, how to find the assessment and market data for tax sale properties so that you don't uh, bid, uh, bid too much on properties if you're bidding on deeds um, or leads. Okay, now in module four, in week four, you're going to learn the different bidding procedures so that you understand how to bid in your state and how to prepare a bid sheet so that you don't get caught off guard when you're, if you're going to a live auction and um, successful bidding strategies for the live auctions and online auctions. So whether you're bidding online or live so that you can be successful at bidding. Now in module number five, in week five, you'll learn what to do after you purchase a leaner deed to protect your investment and maximize your profit and how to manage and track your liens or deeds so that you don't miss any important deadlines. And one of the bonuses will be a tool to help you do that. Okay, now, this is interactive. So this is how the course works. On Monday of each week during the training, you're going to get a recorded training and, and for that week with your homework assignment for the week. On the following Wednesday, so on that Wednesday after that Monday, we'll have a Q&A live session. The lesson will be pre-recorded, but then on Wednesday, we're going to have a live Q&A session where you can ask questions and then get coaching. Um, we will have two extra Q&A sessions on week six because we won't have a lesson on week six, but we'll have two Q&A sessions, one on Monday, one on Wednesday, and I might change the Monday session to later in the week, but uh, we will have two sessions that week just to make sure you get all of your questions answered and get the coaching that you need, okay? So here's what to do next, okay? Naturally, if you're able to do all the things that we just talked about that I told you were going to be in those classes, you'll see amazing results in your investment profit in your investing profits, which is why you want to invest in taxing investing secrets training right now. It's just $9.97. Now, this is not the real price. The, the price is $19.97, but this is the early bird price. So right now, it's only $9.97, and you can get your copy at taxleanlady.com forward slash T-L-I-S for Tax Lean Investing Secrets. It's all lowercase, all lowercase, and you could get it right now. But there's also bonuses, okay? Uh, when you register today, I'm also going to give you three bonus courses that are worth um, 
uh, over eight hundred dollars, almost nine hundred dollars, and I didn't uh, I didn't give you all that information and tell you what those bonus courses are um, in this webinar because I kind of put this together really quickly. I don't even have a sales page up yet. When you go to buy, that's the actually order. That's the order page. Uh, but the webinar, the bonuses are the buying tax liens online course, the um, online tax deeds course and the tracking your liens course. All right, now, if you're a member, you might have access to those courses already, but you have a different version of those courses. The difference being that the, course, the bonuses that you're getting with this course, you'll have lifetime access to, and they're continually updated. The bonuses that you get with the membership um, those are not continually updated and you don't have lifetime access, you only have access while you're a member. Okay, so that's the difference. So the take action now, early bird bonuses are only available through Sunday. Okay, and on Monday the price of the course goes up to the 1997. Okay, so if you're interested, order now at taxleanlady.com forward slash TLIS. Now, if you don't have a lot of money to invest, I don't suggest that you buy this course, all right? If you're starting with very little money, uh, you probably don't have the $1,000 to buy the course. If you have that $1,000, you need it to invest in tax lien. So here's what I recommend for you. Buy my book. It's 20 bucks. Actually, if you go to Amazon.com, you could probably get it for 10 or 15 bucks because Amazon has it discounted. And for that, just go to TaxLeanInvestingSecrets.com. Okay, but if you really want help, you really want to do this now, then you know, buy the course. Uh, invest in yourself. All right, and if you do it by Sunday, it's a thousand dollars cheaper. Okay. Now, I promised you some free stuff, and I told you I would answer your questions, and so that is what I'm going to do now, and we have another 30 minutes, so um, so I'm while I do that, I'm just going to leave this up for you. First, I'm going to tell you where to get the, the two free things I have for you. What I want you to get, if you don't have it already, is you can go on my website, taxleanlady.com, or on the blog, taxleaninvestingtips.com, and you'll see something on there for the uh, Sweet 16 Tax Sale Websites swipe file. That is a list of, ta of 16 tax sale websites, but that's not all you get with that. You also get a little video telling you how to use that list, and, um, and you get something else too. I forget what it is, <laughs> but if you if you go to my website, taxinglady.com, or go to taxinginvestingtips.com, you'll see in the upper right hand corner you'll see uh, um, you know something that says Sweet 16 uh, Tax Sale Websites. Click on that, and you can get that uh, swipe file and the video that tells you how to use it. Okay, now. Also, uh, remember I told you that I wanted to give you something that told you which, which uh, states sell liens and which states sell deeds? Well, that is my state guide. And that's been updated for 2016. And you can get that at um, tax lien, uh, let's see, where is that? If you go to taxleanlady.com, you'll see a tab at the top that says members, members or membership, if you click on that, I think it says members. If you click on that, it will take you to a sales page for my memberships. And if you scroll down to the bottom of that page, there is a link where you could download the state guide. And that state guide will, t will go through the tax lien states and the tax deed states, and then it will go through each state and tell you what happens in each state. Okay. So um, those are the free gifts that I have for everybody that is on the call or that listens to the replay. And, and okay, so now I'm going to answer the questions that first I want to answer. If anybody has questions about the, um, the course that I'm doing, please type it in to the question box. And while you're doing that, I want to answer the questions that 
you guys gave me uh, when you registered for the webinar because I did get a lot of questions. So I'm going to get those out here. Now some of these are pretty involved. The answers are pretty involved, so I won't be able to answer them tonight, but they will. I, I can go over them thoroughly in the course. Uh, like, you know, somebody asked, oh, what are the risks involved? I can't go over all that now, but pretty much all the risks can be uh, mitigated by doing your due diligence, okay? Um, how to get financing without going to the bank. Do you use a credit card? Oh, Paul, let me get the rest of this question here. Or borrow from a hard money lender? No, I do not. I do not get financing from the bank, from credit cards, or from a hard money lender for tax liens. I will use money from my self-directed IRA or partner with somebody else that has the money and doesn't have the time to do it because you don't know when you're going to get paid. So you can't pay, you, you can't pay back monthly if you get a loan. You don't know when it's going to redeem. And um, even with getting a hard money loan, you know, what if you're investing in a state that has a two, three year redemption and then you have to foreclose on the property and come up with more money? So it's not something I recommend. This is an investment. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not like regular real estate investing. Uh, I use uh, tax lien investing as an alternative to the stock market. What state would you? Uh, recommend to start investing if I have less than a thousand dollars oh boy that kind of depends on what state you're in it really depends on what state you're in because I would want you to do it in a state that's close to you and even Florida like we talked about before some of those online states have deposits um, and minimum budgets uh, one that comes to mind that doesn't is um, Indiana and they do have online sales but the problem is they bid premium so the price gets bid up it's not easy to get something for under a thousand dollars that's something that's something I would have to talk to you about on an individual basis but the first thing I would recommend is to get my book it's not going to go over state by state but it will give you some general background information what tips do you have for tax sales in Pennsylvania Beware in Pennsylvania because right now the tax sales are judicial sales. Okay, but if you buy in the if you buy in the um, now is the spring if you buy in the fall those are the upset sales and you, you just have to check with the tax claim bureau and find out if it's the judicial sale or the upset sale because if it's the upset sale you're responsible for any liens on the property. Um, also, whenever you're buying any deeds at in any state at any of the deed sales, you're probably responsible. You're going to be responsible for recording fees and realty transfer fees. In Pennsylvania, it's two percent of the price of the property, and it's not the bid price. They go by the assessed value of the property. So, um, you know, just just beware of that. Um, somebody wants to know how to set up a QRP to use for retirement funds to invest um, or how and where to set up a QRP. Uh, that is a question for an attorney that, that, uh, that does that. Uh, instead of a QRP, I would set up a solo 401k. It's basically the same thing as a QRP. Camaplan is a company that I know will set up, can set up a solo 401k. Uh, and uh, this person says, also the o OTC lien seems like needles in a haystack. Am I doing this wrong? No, I just don't re recommend OTC liens. Yes, you're right. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. And basically, if you're going to do the OTC things, you got to do it immediately after the tax sale. Thing, anything good is going to be gone real fast. Not something I recommend for newbies, by the way. How can you ensure due diligence? in online tax lien investing. This is what I'm going to be teaching in the course, okay? This takes uh, at least an hour session to show you how to do, all right? Uh, and somebody said, hi, Joanne, is this webinar going to cover tax deeds in detail? In detail, no. In general, uh, I talked about a few states that have tax deeds, um, and some of them have tax deeds online. 
but in detail, my course will cover that. Uh, how difficult? Oh, also, um, if you don't need the coaching, I do have a course on online tax deed sales, and you could get that on onlinetaxdeeds.com. Okay, but that is one of the bonuses. If you do want coaching and do the live training, if you want the group coaching, that is one of the bonuses. How difficult is it to start investing in tax liens or deeds? It's not really difficult. It just it just takes some work, you know. Just it takes some of your time. It's not difficult. I mean, I'm, if I can do it, look, I started this business. I didn't know anything about real estate. I didn't know anything about finance. I still don't. <laughs> and uh, and I, I did it. So you know, if I did it, basically anybody that that can learn, you know, can do it. Um, aren't funds investing in bulk nearly everywhere? No. Uh, somebody somebody says that aren't funds investing in bulk nearly everywhere. I don't know what you mean by that. If you mean that aren't um, hedge funds involved nearly everywhere and aren't they buying up a lot? Yes. But you can still, the individual investor can still find opportunity. You just have to go to a lot of tax sales. What I thought you meant at first was aren't aren't they selling in bulk everywhere and no in some states they do but in most states they don't sell in bulk um, funding and best deals I will not go over funding but I will go over where to get the best deals uh, in the course okay I can't do that tonight um, I want to know other than what I've already gone over tonight I want to know if you have Skype or Facebook and an email doubts or questions yeah you can just type in your questions and these, that's why I do this okay I have a there's a question box okay I have little to no startup money how can I do this start going to sales just start going to sales see what they're like how to research and buy tax liens online okay something we'll be covering um, I also have a course called Buying Tax Liens Online. You can find out about it at buyingtaxliensonline.com. That will be one of the bonuses. $297 course will be one of the bonuses in the group coaching training that I'm going to be doing. By the way, the training starts Monday, May 16th is the first lesson. All right, so we could take advantage of the Florida tax sales. Uh, let's see. How to research and buy tax liens online. I just answered that one. Do you have strategies for funding retirement plans such as a 401k or a QRP? Do I have strategies? Okay. You just take some money out of everything you make and you put it into your retirement plan. Okay. That's the strategy. Is it necessary to hire a lawyer to do a less pendants after winning at the tax deed auction? No, it is not necessary to do that. Uh, what is necessary is to clear the title in most states. Um, sometimes an attorney can do a, t a quiet title process, or sometimes you could get a title com uh, um, a company that will clear the title for you. You just find out which one is cheaper in that state and which one will do it faster for you. But you know you don't have to do a foreclosure after you buy a tax deed. What do I need to do to register for a tax lien certificate where should I purchase tax liens okay that is an individual question I will have to talk to you that's one of the things I'll be doing in this course is giving you individual coaching how fast do you get paid to take over the house I don't know what you mean okay how fast do you get paid or take over the house okay um, and that depends on the state uh, that's entirely state specific I would like Illinois specific information. I won't be giving that tonight. Uh, if you do the course, I will be giving that in the course. Illinois is a tax lien state, I will tell you that. How would you resell vacant residential land and have you used special warranty deeds? How will you resell vacant residential land? Depends on the state. Again, that depends on the state. Uh, whether I, I, one of my members did foreclose on a vacant residential land in Arizona and I believe she sold it herself without a realtor, but I'm not sure.
I'm not sure about that. There's different ways that you could sell it. You could use eBay. Um, you could use bid for assets, although I, wouldn't, I don't think I'd use bid for assets for vacant land. I think I would use eBay. And I wouldn't use a realtor because they take too much commission on vacant land. Uh, definitely I'd use a realtor for a house, but not for vacant land. If you win a tax deed at an auction, do you get the title free and clear sometimes? Okay, remember I told you about Pennsylvania, if you buy it in the upset sale, no you don't. Okay, and there's some states that you don't, but most states you do. Uh, when purchasing a condo at a tax deed sale, what happens to the homeowner fees attached? That depends on the state. Again, laws are changing about homeowner fees in different states. What are the best search analysis tools to facilitate tax lien investing from out of state? What are the tax, what are the best search analysis tools? Not sure what you mean to facilitate tax sale. Um, I do use tax sale resources, which I provide as a tool to my members. And as one of the bonuses to this course, you get two month membership. So you get access to tax sale resources for two months. That gives you links to do search and analysis. Um, and then there are other tools that I use too that I will talk about in the course, in the coaching course. Okay, I have more questions that I got from people that typed in and we still have time. I have time to answer your questions. Woohoo! All right, hold on to your hats. I am answering more of your questions. Also, if you have any questions about this course, go ahead and ask them. And let's see, hold on, I just got a couple more from when you registered. Uh, don't want to go to the auction, can I still do this? Yes, you can, many of them are online. You can do your due diligence online, although if you can have someone to look at the property, I do recommend it, but you can do it on, uh, I've bought liens without looking at them, especially um, even on vacant land. Uh, there is, you know, a trick to it that I will talk about when I do the, uh, you know, in the coaching course that I do. What public tools can I use to do proper due diligence prior to attending an auction? Google Earth, again, I use tax sale resources. There's links in tax sale resources that gives you links to public websites where you could do some of your due diligence. If you actually want market data and sales data, like good market data, there's another tool that I use. It's a paid tool, Investor Comps Online. Also helps you sell your properties. You can find, you know, who buys properties in the area because uh, it gives you all the comps, the buyers and sellers of all the properties in the area. So I do have some tools that I use that and some of these, like tax sale resources, you will get access to in the course. All right, so now we'll get to more questions. Uh, the questions that you typed in, I'll get to those uh, in a second here. All right, so let's start going through those. Oh, Len, you had a question here. How do we find those people that have money to invest in tax liens but don't have the time? Oh, good question, Len. One of the things I have for my members is a Facebook group, and you could talk to people through that group. There are also other groups online, like if you're a member of LinkedIn or Facebook, you could look for tax lien investing groups and ask, you know, does anybody want to partner? You know, I have the, um, and, and Len, you're an experienced tax lien investor in Colorado, so you can ask. Is there a real estate transfer fee in Florida? How much? I'm not sure about the real estate transfer fee for the deeds in Florida, Len, but I will tell you when you're buying assignment liens, Florida is a really good place to do it because it's only like $2.50 assignment fee to buy liens. And uh, because in New Jersey it's $40. <laughs> so, um, but I'm not sure what the realty transfer fee is in Florida. Rodney asks, how is this course different from the one you offered some time ago for $147? Okay, Rodney, that course that you got for $147, you got that as a, as a special price. Uh, that is a $297 course. 
which um, you do get as a bonus with this course. And if you, if, um, since you already have that course, what I will do for you instead is, as a bonus, give you a consultation with me. As a matter of fact, the first five people that buy this course, I will give a consultation with me. I can't do it with everybody because, you know, I only have so much time to go, so much of me to go around, but uh, I will do that for the first five people that purchase the course. This course is different because this one includes group coaching. It is real-time coaching with me. So you get the lesson and then you actually get on the phone with me and everybody else and uh, that's in the course and I you know and we do some group coaching I coach you through what to do for your specific situation so that's what's different about this course Mukta asked in Florida do you need to put deposit separately for each county in which you want to bid or is it in one place yes a, de a separate deposit for each county you want to bid in. Renee asked, how can I safely purchase liens and deeds from the Caribbean? Oh, okay. You can do it online. I would suggest Florida. And it, basically, you have to do your due diligence carefully. And that's something, you know, we will go over in the course. But the, here, if you're doing it from the Caribbean, there's a couple things you need. You need to get a tax ID number and a U.S. bank account, okay? Those are the two things that you need to invest in the U.S. All right, and I can help you with that if uh, you do the course. That's a little involved. Okay, what are some businesses that you could incorporate um, tax liens? Rodney, I'm not sure what you mean. Okay, uh, can you specify that? Can you give me free coaching in addition to the first five who buy this course? No. <laughs> my time is, is worth something. You know, my expertise is worth something. Um, and uh, I'm willing to do it for the people who buy the course. There's, there's still room if you purchase it now. There's still room. Okay, uh, let's see. Doug, could you cover more tools on due diligence? That's the most important part, being able to make a good decision if it's a good property, especially when there, uh, we are far away and cannot attend a sale. Are there any new tools we could and should use for due diligence? That kind of depends on the state, and that is something I will go over in depth in the in the course. As I said, I use tax sale resources to find out what tax sales are coming up around the country, and also they have links in, um, like you go to that jurisdiction that you're investing in, and they have links to the county websites to find the information, find the public information on the properties. And then, you know, the other tool that I use, as I told you, is uh, Investor Comps Online. That is a paid program. I don't use it for liens, but for if I'm buying a property, like if you're buying a deed, you're buying the property. So I would check that what that does is it gives you comps. The other thing I would do is check the state's environmental website to make sure that the property I'm bidding on is not an environmental problem. Okay, Scott, what states are good for when I want the property and the lien yield is less important? Redeemable deed states, Scott, but you have to physically attend the sale, the sale, the tax sale. The only redeemable deed state that has an online sale is uh, Tennessee, Shelby County, Tennessee, and there's not much good there. So redeemable deeds, you gotta, you gotta physically attend the sale, but then you have a better chance of getting the property. Or just go to deed states, like we talked about Michigan before. Uh, but you have to have the money. If you're buying the property, you have to have the money. Okay, any more questions about the course? And let's see, I have some more. Is 7,000 U.S. enough to start investing in tax deeds? No, Renee. It's enough for liens, definitely, but not for deeds. Not unless you're just buying deeds on, on uh, vacant land. Do you know if Puerto Rico does tax liens? Yes, Len. They do. I don't know much about them, but that is on my things to do list is to find out how the tax lien investing works in Puerto Rico. They do have tax liens there. Uh, can you write the lien off on your taxes? No, Kenny, you cannot. What happens is 
um, the county or municipality after uh, and not until you get you don't have to worry about it until it redeems the following the, the year after it redeems you're going to get a 1099 form for the interest that you made and you have to report it as um, as interest now sometimes you don't even get a 1099 form some municipalities will only give it to you if you're a business uh, or if it's over a certain amount of money okay Stuart asks in Florida watch out for Santa Rosa County where you apply for the tax deed redemption they have a fee along with several others called other <laughs> seven hundred and twenty dollars all right that's your tax deed application fee yeah so some counties have um, more a bigger tax deed application fee okay Alex asked how is your course different than others like the US Tax Lien Association Alex I don't really know what their course is like so I can't really address that I know I I, I know I've had people tell me that they didn't get the type of education that they thought they were going to get. It was still confusing to them and that my teaching was more clear. I don't know, it, you know how true that is because I haven't seen their course. Uh, but I did have somebody tell me that and actually she's a foreigner um, and that's not the first time somebody's told me that either. I think I might have gone through most of the questions here. I'm just looking this over again to see if there's anything that I've missed. We have just a couple of minutes left. So if you have a question, type it in. Check it. If you've raised your hands, I'm not really taking live questions on this call. So um, just looking to see if anybody has a raised hand here. Yeah, Renee has a Renee. Can you ask me your question in the chat chat box? Because I'm not taking live questions today. It's just too many people on the call for that. Um, so if I haven't, I know I've answered a couple of your questions, but if you have another one, just type it in, and I will answer it. I'm going to try to get them all answered today. Um, Alex wants to know what is covered in the coaching. Basically all the questions that you have as we're going through the course. I'm actually going to help you implement what we're learning in the course. Okay, and do some tutorials. If you need help, I'll give you tutorials. I'll actually go online and show you what to do. Okay, um, or, you know, talk you through it on the phone. Yeah, we do have questions about taxable income to the IRS if you purchase a tax lien certificate and what happens is just as I explained before you only pay taxes on your interest it, it's interest income you get a 1099 interest form and you report it as interest income all right and uh, like I said you don't always get one it depends on the county or municipality and depends on how much interest that you make but that is what you're supposed to do reported as interest income Muchka asked will the course be too late for Florida sales or will it be in time for it okay good question Mukta um, it will be in time but here's how let me get rid of this little pop-up here. Here's how the Florida tax sales work. They're, most of them are over June 1st. All right. Our class is going to start May 16th, and we're going to have the first three lessons before June 1st, so you will be able to bid at those sales. And if you don't get it done by then, uh, the they have follow-up sales everything that doesn't get sold gets um, they have another sale where they put and, and then it's like first come first serve that's where the OTC liens go and again if you're gonna do those OTC liens you have to um, you have to do them immediately after the sale so you'll be ready to do them and I don't know why I can't get rid of this thing there we go okay <laughs> all right so if you want to get in on the group coaching go to taxleanlady.com forward slash T-L-I-S and do it by Sunday to get the special price and to get the bonuses and if you're one of the uh, first five people you'll also get a free coaching session with me 
I still have room. Still have room for that. Okay? So that's it for tonight. That's it for this month's call. And uh, happy and prosperous investing, everybody. I uh, will see you next month. Bye-bye.